In The Wife of Bath's Tale, in the Canterbury Tales, the wife of Bath tells her story, and she explains that she has been married five times. She suggests that she use the gifts that God has given her, and he did not give her the gift of celibacy. She uses her gifts to hold power over her husband's. Now the partner interrupts with concerns that his soon-to-be wife might have power over him. He says he will not marry after all. But the wife of Bath tells him to wait and hear her story before he makes this decision. She goes on to describe her husbands, two bad ones and three good ones. The good ones were rich, old, and easily controlled. She controlled them through false accusations and denying them sexual satisfaction. The bad husbands were wild, unfaithful, and full of conflict. The friar comments that she is taking too long. She begins a story set in King Arthur's court. A young knight rapes a beautiful young woman and is sentenced to death. Now King Arthur's wife makes a deal with him that he may live if he can find out what women really want. He has one year to find the answer, and the knight travels from place to place asking women, and anyone really, what they want. He gets a wide variety of answers, and after a year, he goes back to report his failure. But on the way, he comes upon a group of women dancing around a fire. As he approaches, all but one of the women disappears, an old, ugly crone. She agrees to give him the answer he seeks if he swears to do whatever she asks. At court, the knight reveals her answer. A woman wants the same sovereignty over her husband as over her lover. The crone demands that he marry her. He consents because her answer was right and saved his life. Later in bed, the old crone asks the knight to explain why he is so down. He tells her that he is ashamed to have such an ugly wife. She tells him that she can become beautiful, but she will also be unfaithful. Or she can remain ugly and be a good, faithful wife. He tells her she should choose whatever she thinks is best. Because this is exactly what women want, she becomes both fair and faithful. The knight instantly loves and desires her, and they live happily together ever after. Now, the wife of Bath's prologue makes her a well-developed character. Set in King Arthur's time, her story has elements of a romance, a knight, and a happy ending. Its inclusion of an old crone who turns into a young, beautiful woman sounds more like a fairy tale. Her prologue focuses on her own marriages and how she maintained her own dominance in them. The importance of the lesson here is that the way to please a woman is to let her be in charge. The lusty knight avoids punishment and is well rewarded for letting his wife take the lead in decision making.